Hai Katia. Hi teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. And and you? I'm okay. Good. How was your day today? How was your Friday? Um it was interesting because today uh we're uh, don't going to work. <laughs> you didn't work today. Um, not because the the rain. <laughs> oh yes. All the schools, mm -hmm. but tomorrow I going to go to university. I have to work tomorrow. Oh, you do. Yes, tomorrow. Yes. Oh, okay. Let me check one thing on the Why do you have to go to the university tomorrow? You you um I I have to teach. I I don't know how to say I have to work because I <clears throat> I I teach one signature seminario de educación inclusiva. Oh I'm sorry, ¿qué es educación inclusiva? What is it that? is education for all, for everyone. That's an important if the people, if the different religions, uh, okay. race. Okay, good. The reason why I ask you that is because why people say lenguaje inclusivo. What does that mean? Mm, because um, I, I'm not. I agree in, in in that case. No, no, me too. I, I I don't agree. No, but my question is the origin of why it's called lenguaje inclusivo because I understand inclusivo it I includes. Think, I think um, when the people is uh, giving giving for example the the news the news, mm -hmm. um, there there is a a person, um. Interpretando sign language. That, that is inclu inclusive, inclusive. Because the people. But what about what about this this what is happening right now? They, some people, I'm not a he, I'm not a she, I'm a. Um, <laughs> I'm a. I, I forgot what is the name. Eso es más como de los feministas o algo así. Pienso yo. No, 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 yo sé, pero mi pregunta era por qué la palabra técnica se llama inclusivo, un lenguaje inclusivo. ¿Por qué le dicen ellos? Because they think include the man and the woman. Okay, maybe. But it's incorrect. Yes, I, I don't think it's correct. Yes, I, I don't think it's correct. I don't teach that to my student. <laughs> but but you know what? I think in a future, in a near future, I don't know the way things are going. Maybe here in ten years, El Salvador will be like that. Um, how teacher? Okay, like let me give an Speaking example. Speaking inclusive language. Yeah, because. Like, um, let me give you an example. In, in, in Talos, I used to work in a call center. And there, you obviously, obviously, there is homosexual people there, no problem. And there are some boys that really, every day, they dress like women, 
like they paint their nails the next day, you know, but you see the transformation. Okay, that's no problem. But um I don't know, it it becomes a problem when they when they become a problem because like um what what if what if you turn if you turn like if you're a man and you convert to a woman imagine okay there's no problem that that's good that's good that your job accepts that it's very good the problem what about when you go to the bathroom you know that that's what i tell i i i have my my i have a my cousin she's a feminist She's a big feminist, and I tell her that's really ridiculous because it's it's not homophobia. It's not. It's logic. It's common sense. Because I I tell my cousin, okay, imagine you're a woman and you feel you're a man. Okay, no problem. It's okay. It's your feelings. No problem. And if you're a man and you feel you're a woman, it's okay. If you're a man and you feel you're a dog, it's okay. But what happens is, what I don't like is that I tell my cousin, because she's a big feminist, what about the day when your daughter is in a bathroom in the gym and she's changing and a man walks in in, in the locker in the dressing room, but the man says, it's okay, I am a woman. <laughs> what What's going to happen that day? You know, imagine, y puede que sea mentira, <laughs> because you know how people, hey, so entonces si se puede, yeah. What's going to happen to the day that the man, he is 40 years old, and he has relations <laughs> with, a, with a girl, and she's 12 <laughs> years old. No, but I am 40, but I feel that I am 12. <laughs> it's a crazy teacher. Yes. You know, that's what I tell my cousin. I think that's the problem because I think if if legally legal, if you want to accept a woman that she's a man, okay. Pero también then you have to accept a man, un violador. Uh, you know, if the man is 50 years old and he had sex with a girl who is 14, <clears throat> but if he thinks he is 15, si él siente que tiene 15, si permiten esa ley, tienen que permitir eso. It's, a, it's the Pandora box. Yeah. But I think, I don't know. That's why um, I wouldn't want my son to be in the United States in this moment. Did I tell you that um in in my job in an interpreter I'm having cases like that that the doctor tells me please refer to the uh, to the patient se me olvidó cuál es el pero me pidió que no me podía referir al paciente como él y ella That's really <laughs> como ella <laughs> yes and, and and for me it's no problem, but the the problem is that it's legal. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's a big, 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 big problem. It's a future big problem. All right. Hello, class. How is everybody? Hello. Good evening. Hi, Sarah. Hi, teacher. Look at Milton. Milton looks like he likes sports a lot. He has a lot of trophies, basketball. He's a sportsman. Hold on, let me check. Let's finish number three today.
So we're talking about ethical and unethical. Correct? Sorry. Yesterday we were talking about ethical and unethical. Do you remember? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. What are some ethical things to do, to ask, to say? Yes. Um I I he died, but I, I used to have a a friend. He he was maybe in his 50s or 60s. My friend was from Germany. Yes, his name was Peter Pullman. He died maybe 10 years ago. But listen to this. He was he was around 60. And he had a tattoo here. He had a tattoo here in his arms with numbers. With numbers. What do you think? And the numbers were horribly like two, two, three, four. They were horrible. It's the only tat he had it in this arm, I remember. Como un sello, like a cow. I analyze. Okay, he is 60. He is from Germany. Hmm. Maybe he was born in a camp, in a Nazi camp. Yes. So I thought it was unethical to ask, hey, what is the story of your tattoo? I never asked, <laughs> but people always ask, hey, why why do you have numbers in your MK? You know, that's, that was unethical. But his answer was funny. He said, oh, it's my phone number. <laughs> he always said, oh, it's my telephone number. I always forget. And yes, I was right. He He was born in a camp. Un campo judío, so in uh, in Germany. So, um, I wish I wish I talked to him about that story, but I never nunca tuve valor. I never had the courage to, because why? I already know what happened. So I don't think it's nice for somebody who suffered to tell the story again. So all he, and he was a very good friend, but all this time I thought it was unethical to ask about the tattoo. I thought it was unethical. And everybody, hey Peter, why do you have your numbers? Why do you have your numbers? Hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's not. What do you think? He has a number for tattoo. Excuse me? He has a number for tattoo. Yes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's a difficult way, sorry. Yeah. Do you know that that's what they did to the Jew to the Jews, correct? Yes. Yeah, they they, they gave him a number, a tattoo. Yes, really. It's true. Yes. So he died. He was a very good person. He was a doctor. Oh, and that's more interesting. He was a doctor. So I, I can't imagine his life. It must have been interesting. Okay. So what do you think is something un unethical, Marielos? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi, Marielos. What do you think is something unethical? What is something unethical to do? In church, you go to church, correct? Yes. Okay, what is something unethical to do in church? Uh, I think it's unethical uh, to, to 
con eh, in, I don't know how do you say um, to go on shorts or mini skirt okay okay yeah maybe it, it's unethical to go to church with um mini skirt okay Milton, what do you think is something unethical to say to a woman? Or I'm sorry, what do you think is something unethical to ask a woman? Teacher, good yes. evening. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, what does mean unethical? Unethical. Remember, we were speaking about this yesterday. Ethical and unethical. Uh, opposite. Yes. Okay. Why? Uh, repeat the, the question. What is something unethical to ask a woman in El Salvador? For example, uh, uh, as as her uh, uh, all uh, all her in the party. How old is she? How old is she in the party? Okay, good. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Sometimes I don't know why, but it's true. In El Salvador, it's unethical to ask a woman how old is she. And in, in the United States, it's normal. So it's like, okay. All right. Katya, what do you think is something unethical to buy? To buy maybe drugs? That's illegal. Yeah. It's not unethical, it's illegal. <laughs> Do you think it's ethical to buy monkeys? No, no, I'm sorry. Do you think it's illegal? Yeah, that's also illegal. Too. Okay, do you, okay. Everybody does it. Yo lo hago. Do you think it's ethical to buy imitations? What is it? Yes, it's to very buy, difficult. Yeah. To buy something that is an imitation. For example, shoes. Mm -hmm. Perfumes. Okay, for example, I think it's unethical to buy jewelry from a person in the street. Imagine you're walking in the street and this person, hey, hey, look, look, do you, I'm selling this watch. Of course, that person is a thief. And I buy the watch, that's unethical. But I don't see this anymore. I don't see pesos, and it was very nice. <laughs> I'm joking. It's unethical and illegal. <laughs> yes. Well, it depends. You know, it's, it actually depends, Marielos, because if you know, if you know that it's stolen, yes, it's illegal to buy it. But yeah, if you, you don't know, if you don't know, it's not illegal. But is, if the police if find find it, the watch, mm -hmm. they, um, um, I don't know, how do you say, um, the commissar? Take it away, yes. Oh, take it away. Yes, yes they, they can take it away because. But, uh, is, but... The, the act is not, it, it, it's not, it, it, uh, but how do you 
unethical. <laughs> unethical. I, because do you not don't because you don't know. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why um I learned that because my friend he was telling me, do you know the mareros like extorsiones? Yeah. They don't call it extortions. They say colaboración. So when they went to your business <laughs> and they tell you, do you want to collaborate? That word era suficiente para un juez. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Because then the Mareo says, excuse me, that was not an extortion. I ask for collaboration. <laughs> very smart. Very smart. Yeah. <laughs> very smart people. But hoy, sorry, sorry, my friend, you go to jail. Yeah, that's why that's why when they would go to your business or your house or in the street, they tell they don't say, Hey, give me all your money. No, hey, collaborate. Mm -hmm. So would the police catch you, excuse me. Hey, I said collaboration. He gave me the money. Very smart. So in conclusion. Unethical, you can say something unethical, you can do something unethical, you can buy something unethical. For example, hey, te vendo mi iPhone, pero fíjate que se me olvidó la clave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot the password. It's like, oh, man. You know, but I buy it anyway. Now, I know that's not ethical. Okay, let's see what is next. Okay, it says, by the end of this section, participants will be able to practice. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So it says, by the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using language to express wishes and regrets. Do you know what is regret? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. What song is this? Regrets. I had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I lived my way, Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. I did it. I if I would really recommend you to listen to that song and, and read Lana La Letra. It's very easy to understand. It's a very, very good song. <laughs> Elvis Presley too song. Yeah, he sung that song too. Live and piano, right? When when Elvis Presley was very fat, he sung that song. Yes, and specifically when very very cool. Yes, in this song. Yes. I I understand all songs. Yes, it's very easy to understand. I think your connection is bad, Milton. I think it's your connection or mine. What did you? No, I I can't. I'm sorry. One thing. Todos oyen a Milton así como Android. Yes, did you? Okay, yes. so it's, okay, it's yeah. not me. <laughs> Milton, uh, your connection, your internet is a little bad in this moment. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, teacher. Okay. Uh, Besides, I I have a problem with my with my throat. Oh, okay. Tequila is good for that. Okay, so let's see the video. Wishes and regrets. Are you ready to express wishes and regrets? Remember, we can wish about the present and the future, and we regret about the past. Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, you use wish 
plus past simple or past continuous or could or would plus verb. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. For regrets about the past, use wish plus past perfect. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. I wish I had given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. For regrets about the past, use if plus past perfect and could or would have plus past participle. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. For strong wishes about the present or future, or for strong regrets about the past, use if only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. If only my boss would consider promoting me. In English, there are different ways to express wishes in the present and in the future. We may use wish plus past simple, wish plus past continuous, wish plus could plus verb, or wish plus would plus verb. We use wish plus past simple to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different. Example, I wish I spoke English. I don't speak English. I wish I had a big car. I don't have a big car. I wish I were on a beach. I am in the office. That's what I was telling Future. you yesterday. I wish I, I were. I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? This change also happens with he and she. Remember this I told you only yesterday? This happens in wishful thinking yes, or sure. hypothetical situations. I told you like I wish. Okay. We use wish plus past continuous to express that we want to be doing a different action in the present or the future. For example, I wish I were laying on a hammock now. I'm sitting in the office. I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. We use wish plus past perfect to express a regret or that we want a situation in the past to be different. I wish I hadn't spent too much money. I spend lots of money. They wish they had stayed in Japan. They didn't stay in Japan. We use if plus past perfect plus could have or would have plus past participle to express regrets about the past or when we want to imagine changing something in the past. For example, if she had gone to university, she could have studied French. She didn't go to university. Past use wish plus past perfect. Okay, so look, it says, for wishes about the present or future, we use wish, past simple, past continuous, or could or would. So you can say, I wish I ate or I wish I was eating. Let, let's do that right now. So we're going to do for wishes about the past, the present and future. When I must use wish, past simple, past continuous, could, would, and the verb. Yes. It sounds strange, but what is something you wish you had in this moment? Now, this sounds strange because everybody thinks this moment is present, so I wish I had, and it's not correct. I wish I, wish I had. Do you understand this? I wish I had. Sorry, I have a question. Is I wish I have. No, it's I wish I had. 
Ah, okay. In past. In past simple. Mm -hmm. Past simple. So, aunk is, is you're expressing present. Yeah. But why, porque had, if had is past, because I wish, wish is in present time. I wish I had. Okay. Yes. Now, I wish I was, no, it's I wish I were. were. I wish you were. Sure. I wish she were. I wish he were. Okay? So, Katya, tell me something you wish you had in this moment. I wish I had more vacation. Okay. I wish I had more vacation. Okay. I was thinking in that. <laughs> the same. Milton, what is something you wish you had? I wish I wish I had um, more, uh, much money for to buy a, another car. Very good. I wish I had a good job in a taco and live there. Okay. I in a taco or in that zone where it's cool, it's cold, it's nice. But it, I wish I had a house in a taco, but the problem is I have to come every day to work to San Salvador, so I can't. All right. Sara, what is something you wish you were? Mm. Sorry, wool. Were, were. I wish I were. I wish I were. Uh, I wish I were in my pronunciation. No. Remember, when you say, I wish I were, you, you need a description. Yeah, please. Um, okay. I wish I were um, my husband. <laughs> my husband would wash the dishes every day. No. No. Listen, listen to what you said. I wish I were my husband wash the dishes every day. Okay, I were. But uh, I understand because uh, the word is W-O-R-K. No, that is work. I did not say work. I said were. W-E-R-E. -E. War. I don't know. I was, I was, she was, he was, we were, and were, were. I wish I, look, do you see? Okay, the words became in was. Yes, I was explaining to everybody. In this case, was does not exist. Were is for everything, for I, he, she, we, and they. Ah, um, okay. I wish I were, um, uh, my daughter, my daughter playing or my daughter play. Yo desearía, yo desearía ser mi hija jugar. Sarah, look, L listen, please, listen. Where? I wish I were tall. I wish I were short. I wish I were white. I wish I were black. Mm, okay. I wish I were in the beach. I wish I were in the mountains. In the mountains? Yes. Okay, good. Remember, when you say I were, you can say your adjective or a place. 
Okay, so I wish I were in the mountains. That's good. What about you, My Mayra Asensio? Are you in class today? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Hello. Okay, uh, give me an example with I wish I were. I'm sorry, Mayra, you are single, correct? No, I'm you married. Have, oh, you're married. Is your husband there with you? Yes. What is something you wish your husband were? Mm, I not, not necessarily something. Let, let me give you an example. Not necessarily something bad. For example, I wish my wife were more outgoing. Do you know what is outgoing? Okay. I wish my husband were uh, rich. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my husband were rich. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Marielos. Tell me something you wish you were, using I wish I were. Okay, I wish I were a doctor. <laughs> I wish I were what? A doctor. Really? You, you wish you were a doctor? Yeah. <gasps> you <and me. laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think doctors are very, very big responsibility. Yes. Yes, but yeah. I like yeah, that's good. That's good. Another people. Hmm. I wish I were a mechanic. Really? Yeah, sometimes you know. This this might sound ridiculous, but I think a mechanic is similar to a doctor. Yeah. Because yeah. you never know when you need a doctor or a mechanic. Yes. You know, <laughs> and 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 you especially mechanics, you don't know if what your car has is something very simple or not. But a mechanic, uh, no, you see, let's see what, no, so okay, blah, 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 $100. <laughs> and maybe it's just a, a pin, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Irena, you're there. Yes, teacher. Irena, tell me something you wish your boyfriend were. Uh, I wish my boyfriend were more outgoing. Okay, good. Yeah, me too. I wish my wife was were more outgoing, but she's very cons conservative. But is outgoing is like a. No, I think that I, I I am confused because llevadero. Yes, that's outgoing. It's the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Or like you know, like um, yeah, llevadero. Like like for example, we went to the La Feria, you know. Yes. And I told my hey, so I'm gonna like like. Uh huh. Not, not not to be worried. Uh, uh huh. She's always like, no. worried. I don't know. Come on, La Chicago, man. That's uh -huh. not scary. <laughs> no. And the problem is like <laughs> oh, yes. But my, so, my son, but my son is outgoing, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, little. Maybe your son is more alike of you than his yes. mother. Yes. You know, I we talk and I think that's natural. I think that's natural. And I and I see my son, he's more like me in, in that part. Okay. Because when we go everywhere, he always says hi, good morning. Mm -hmm. I never teach him that. I never teach him. Mm -hmm. He always says, hi, hi. What's your name? How old are you? Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So Maritza, are you there? Okay. Yes, so teacher. I'm sorry, but I, I have problems with the microphone. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem. Who do you wish were your boyfriend? Who? <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. I think Brad Pitt. I wish Brad Pitt were my boyfriend. Good. Do you still think Brad Pitt is handsome? Yes, kind of. I think it, it was better when he was younger. But <laughs> no, but he he is a very handsome man. And yes, he is. He is in he his is. 50s and he is still very handsome. He is still very handsome. Yeah, he's a very handsome man. Okay, good. 
All right. And yes, it's okay for a man to say handsome. Yeah, sometimes How, people... teacher? Huh? How? It's okay for a man to say handsome. No, because, you know, in our, in our society, when I say Brad Pitt is handsome, people say, hey, teacher, no, you're a man, so. Ah, okay. <laughs> My husband said that he can see another man handsome. That's he a lie. He, he didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that's your machismo. That doesn't permit that. But no, man, that's a lie. Yes, I think. I think so. Mm -hmm. We or lo dicen otra forma, like he's okay, a buen actor. <laughs> no, but it, that, no, we men we we admit when other when other men are handsome. Okay, now regrets about the past. Do you see here the second it says regrets about the past? Do you see the second part here where it says for regrets? I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. Yes. I wish I had been given Oh, I'm sorry, but I guess I'm not going to play. I'm like, yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, so I wish I've taken. What is I've? It's the contraction for I have. I have not. Mm -hmm. I had or I have not. Okay. Yes, like um, I always, I always in my, in my, in my life teaching, I always hear this excuse from adults. Adults always tell me, man, teacher, I wish I had studied English when I was younger. You know, when, when I was younger, when I had no responsibilities, my only responsibility was school. And they mm -hmm. tell me, I wish I had studied English. So that's saying, ¿qué está diciendo la I? I wish I had. Hubiera querido. No, because I'm saying I wish I had. Uh -huh. Bien raro, bien raro se, se entiende en español. Yes. Desearía haber. Ajá, desearía, creo, desearía uh -huh. haber estudiado. Yeah, I, I think that would be better. Thank you, Irana. Uh -huh. Desearía haber estudiado. Y ahí está en inglés también, haber en español. Haber es I had. Yes. Okay, like um, one time, I always remember that, but one time I had a boss. I was very young. I was very young and my boss, he was, he was maybe my age today. And my boss was very bad. He was a terrible boss because he had the mentality that because he was the boss, all the women go for him. So the woman he liked, the woman, that woman liked me. So my boss hated me and he always bullied me, bullied me. You know, like, um, like he always bullied me. He screamed at me, he, go get me water, go get me coffee, things I didn't have to do. But stupid me, I did it. When I started getting older, me quedo, man, I wish I had punched him. <laughs> but I saw him like five years ago. Lo vi un día. And I said, oh, now is time. <laughs> no, but you know, I told him when I saw him, I told him, 
I told them, you are one of the worst people I have met in my life. You're a terrible person. And I really, really hate you for what you did to me. So lo dije todo en su cara. <laughs> and, I, and, and I told him, I want to punch you. I really want to punch you. So please punch me. <laughs> please, you punch me first. He said, no, please punch me. Dale, take the first hit because it said he has self-defense. But, but no, it was stupid me. Nothing happened. But even now, I always say, man, I wish I had punched him. <laughs> Porque, I don't know. What is some, I, I regret I, because one the last time he really treated me bad, he made me cry. And I, I stopped going to work because, and I spent many, many years remembering that, like, oh man, I was stupid, I was stupid, I was stupid. But you know, I always said, I wish I had punched him. So let Yeah, well. Do you have a situation that you regret? No, like a, a situation like, oh man, I wish I had studied something different. I wish I, do you have anything that you regret? I wish I had, I I had learned to drive uh, when I was when I when I were younger. Yes, that's true. It's sometimes it's more difficult to learn when you get older. Correct. Yes. Okay. O la o hay personas que están tan dolidas con alguna pareja que le dicen. I wish I had never met you. <laughs> A mí me dijeron eso un par de veces. <laughs> and now, and, and it's true, it's, it's right for the people. No. Okay, so what else? Is there something that you regret, Sara? In my case, I wish I, I have studied another career in the university. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, Irena, this, is is, my is this is my regret. Okay. Well, um, I don't know how how is the correct form to say, it, but I wish I had saved money when I was young. Is correct? Yes. It's like a, uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, desde que era joven. Since I was young. Since I was young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, I wish. <laughs> I wish I had not been so terrible with money when I was young. You were or you're not were? No, I wish I had not been so terrible because I was terrible with money. <laughs> okay. When I was young, partying, everything, it's like money was no problem for me. It's like, next, let's, let's go. go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> you know, with my friends, with girls, and those girls don't exist anymore. I don't have those friends, and I don't have that money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or, or you know what? I wish I had somebody to teach me, hey, what are you doing? But I, uh, you know, somebody, I, I wish I had a mentor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so any other regrets? Teacher, is is good if if I say I I wish I had lived in another country when I was younger? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, that's true. Yes. This is a very big regret for me in this moment that I wish I had traveled a lot when I was younger. Because now it's more difficult for me to travel and now I really want to travel. But I can't, it's, it's more difficult. I want to go to Amsterdam. I want to go, I want to go see the Van Gogh Museum. I want to go see the Salvador Dali Museum. I want to go, I want to see everything and now, but I can't because I have a wife and I have my son. Yeah, I want to go see uh, Barcelona. Uh, but Barcelona. you can go with them? Yes, but they don't like it. <laughs> oh my God. My wife wants to, my wife would prefer to see shoes. And I understand, but uh, that's why I wish I, I, you see the thing, Irina, I want to go like a backpacker. Okay. Yes, I know. Being in a hostel or I don't know. No sense yes. about it. You know, like, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I wish I had done that when I was younger, but now I can't. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe when your son is, is, is bigger. Yeah, you can maybe. Do it. Maybe. I hope. Yeah. With him. Yes. With if he him. likes it. Yes. It's a good idea. Yes, it's true. Okay. Any other regrets? Oh, my, my wife's best friend. My wife's best friend, she's. Oh. She had a boyfriend she met at the beach. Um, he was from Canada. Handsome. He was a very handsome man. But they met, he was here surfing in vacation. And my wife's friend, she's your typical Latina, what do you call that? Exotic Latina, like Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. You know, the skin, because for people from Canada or Europe, they, they see that like exotic, exotic beauty. So um, we were in the beach one time and he he was a very good gentleman. Hi, hi, can I sit down? And he he fell in love with my wife's friend, but like totally in love. And he came like every three months, every two or three months to visit her. And he was studying, he was studying medicine. I became very good friends with him, but my wife's friend she liked to party and in a in a bar in a ugly bar she met another man a hippie <laughs> a artista mundano you know like ugh, it was like oh my god you know those people that they 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 you know, that you ask, hey, what do you do? ¿Qué te dedicas? A vivir la vida, viejo. You know, like, oh my God. So my wife's friend, she fell in love with this poet. Okay. So the Canadian man, he suffered a lot. He called me, he called my wife, please help me. I... I need to finish my, my studies. And after that, I want to marry her, bring her here. Wow, you know what? He's a, he is a plastic surgeon now. Wow. He's a millionaire. <laughs> and my, uh -huh. my wife's friend, she has two children and separated from this artist. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Ah, pero yo se lo pongo en la cara. Hey, mira, mira Donald. Man, wow, anda en el Tibet. I always show him the Facebook pictures. I enjoy that. 
So do you think she regrets? Maybe. She she always says that I wish I had never met the father of my children. She said? She always says it. Mm -hmm. Life is, well, it was uh, her decision, right? Yes. Yes, it was her decision. Mm -hmm. And and that man, sigue siendo poet, artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a very, very big regret. Yeah. And the Canadian is married? He had a girlfriend. He, oh, he had a girlfriend from the Philippines. But um, I don't really stay. You see, many people don't use Facebook. I've noticed that many people in the United States, they don't really use Facebook anymore in Canada. They use more like Instagram. Why right, was he? Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have Instagram. So we lost contact a little, but I think maybe he's married now, but he's he's a plastic surgeon. So can you imagine that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So my my wife's friend, uh I imagine every day she 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 really she, re regrets. she really regrets. Yes. I think my wife regrets too, like no le hice caso yo or something. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, maybe inside she's <laughs> Okay, what what about you? Do you do you feel any regrets? Or do you know situations of regret? Mm. I don't know. Mm. No, I just wrote it that. And maybe I read it uh, like Sarah, not to study another career when I was young. Oh, okay. But uh, I started work very young too, and it was hard to me. It was hard, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you didn't have the, a lot of options. Yes. Okay, any more regrets? Milton, do you have any regrets? I think I wish I had uh, fin finished my career. Okay, but what is the regret? Can you say that in a complete sentence? Mm, is, mm, mm. I don't know in the moment, teacher. No, I, okay. Yo entiendo que ustedes saben qué es la palabra regret. Pero lo que quiero yes, es que lo, lo que quiero es que lo digan en la oración. I regret this. That's why I gave you the example of my wife's friend. She regrets she had met the father of her son. I regret, excuse me. I regret I had been terrible with money when I was younger. Do you understand? I want I want you to give me the complete sentence. Okay. I I regret I finished my career when I was younger. Okay, so you didn't finish your career. Finish. finish. But you, Milton. Yes, you, I, I Milton. Didn't. Oh, you didn't finish. Okay. So, entonces es, no la terminó. No. So, I regret not finishing my career. Uh, didn't is uh, no. No. It's, it's a mistake. It's a and mistake. It's not, not finish. Uh -huh. you, have to, you have to say it in continuous. I regret not finishing my career. Okay. Okay. So repeat. Uh, I regret not finish my career. Not finishing. Not finishing my career. 
when, I was I when I was younger, no. Excellent. No, it, yes. It's not necessary. Okay. No, when I, well, I mean, it's not necessary to say when I was younger because by you saying, I regret not finishing my career, we understand that you didn't finish in the past. But it's good. Um, Milton, do you remember Redondo from the Real Madrid? Yes. From Argentina? Yes. Fernando Redondo era, right, Fernando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what uh, do you say? Uh, uh, right, uh, left, we, uh, because uh, he, he was surdo. He was left. Class, uh, this person, his name was Fernando Redondo. He was maybe one of the best players from Argentina in history, and he played for Real Madrid. Yes? Yes. Okay. But listen to this class. Did you know that Fernando Redondo played in El Salvador when he was like 17 or 18? Pasó aquí primero. En Pelé Zapata no lo quiso porque dijo que no servía. Really? Yes. I, I think he, 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 he fue a prueba con Faz or Alianza, something like that, or Aguila. And they said, no, he's not good. Do you think he regrets that? Es el técnico que dijo eso. Okay, I I don't remember. Yeah, but he never. I, I don't think he played professionally in El Salvador because he never passed practice. Yes. El técnico dijo no, no sirve. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what an idiot. Yeah. Imagine, uh, imagine teacher another uh, coach uh, contract uh, another player uh, only for to see a uh, video. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Only by watching the video. Yes. Yeah. I imagine that trainer, that coach really regrets saying, oh my God, I have Fernando Redondo with me and I said he was not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he regrets that. Yeah. Okay, class, I, I want you to have a very good weekend. I hope you have a very good weekend. Remember that really sometimes it's not important that you know the word. What is important is that you say the sentence and the question, okay? Because we only have two more list, two ex listening exercise. If we finish this and Monday and Tuesday, we finish lesson four, that would be good because Wednesday and Thursday, we can have free activities where I want to break you in groups so you can ask questions, ask and answer, ask and answer questions. Y van a ver cómo me siento yo cuando no contestan. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. No, no, it's okay. I, I'm only going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. The... Ah. <laughs> okay, so I hope you have a very good weekend, okay? Enjoy. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good weekend, okay. everybody. Bye.